A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Zalikal kitabu la rayba fi hudan lil muttaqin. The topic of my presentation today inshallah is going to be on chap verse 2 of chapter 2 surah al baqara which is chapter 2 and verse 2 the verse being bismillahir rahmanir rahim Zalikal kitabu la rayba fi hudan lil muttaqin which can be translated this is the only perfect book this is the only perfect book wanting in not containing nothing doubtful harmful or destructive there is no false charge in it it is a guidance for those who guard against evil i am using this translation of the holy quran by nuruddin and Mr. and Mrs. Omar. In my presentation today, I'm going to pick just one word out of this short verse number two of Surah Al Baqarah. The word I'm going to pick is Zalika. Zalikal kitabu. Zalika is the word for today. I'm going to combine it, inshallah, with other words of this particular verse too in my other presentations as we proceed in this sitting of Talim session, inshallah. So let me translate one more time. This is the only perfect book wanting in not containing nothing doubtful, harmful or destructive. There is no false charge in it. It is a guidance for those who are muttaqi which can be translated as who guard against evil. This word Zalika, which is translated here as this, if you look into this word, usually this word means that if we have to translate this word in English, Zalika, it is to be translated as that. But here the translator did not translate this as that, but have translated this word Zalika as this. This is the only perfect book. Zalikal kitabu la rayba fi. Zalikal kitab. So Zalika refers to an object that is far away. That. An object which is far away. That, that book. But the Arabic language is so beautiful that this word Zalika, Zalikal kitabu, which is usually translated as this is the book
If you literally translate this, the translation will be, that is the book. Which is not the message here, which is not the translation here. Actual translation is, this is the book. The question is why the word that has been translated as this. Because the word this in Arabic is a word called haza. Haza kitabun. Haza. But this word haza has not been used which is used for this. The word which is used here is zalika. I want to discuss a little bit here why this word zalika has been picked in this particular verse. Why not haza? Hazal kitabu. It doesn't say hazal kitabu, it says zalikal kitabu. Now, in Arabic, zalika is usually used to refer to an object that is either physically far away or of considerable dignity. When, a pro when a, an object which is of a lot of dignity, considerable dignity, for that object, for that book, the word is used zalika. To, to convey a message of dignity and honor to the book, Al-Kitab. This meaning of the word Zalika, which I have just mentioned, has been explained in the classical Arabic dictionaries. For my presentation today, I'm falling back to some important dictionaries here. Dictionary of Tajul Arus, Dictionary of Lane, Dictionary of Akrab, and Dictionary compiled by Abdul Mannan Omar. So this meaning of Zalika is based on the classical Arabic dictionaries. Some of the names I have mentioned and I'm using the references or the meanings of these words primarily based on these dictionaries. And I'm in particular using the dictionary by Abdul Mannan Omar, which is basically a combination of all the classical Arabic dictionaries which, be, which has been combined together by Abdul Manan Omar. Now, I repeat one more time. In Arabic, Zalika is usually used to refer to an object that is either physically far away or of considerable dignity. That's the meaning, dictionary meaning of the word Zalika. This particular word Zalika has been used in other places in Al Quran as well. For example, in chapter 3, verse 58 of Al Quran, we read Zalika natluhu alaika min al ayate wa zikril hakim, which can be translated. That is what we recite to you. Zalika natluhu alaika. That is what we recite to you. The messages and the reminder full of wisdom. Look at the dignity given to this, to the, to the book, to the messages of the, of the book. The book of wisdom. Al-Hakim was Zikr al-Hakim, the book of wisdom. So as the emphasis is being placed on the dignity of this, this, this book, which is a book 
of wisdom was zikr al-hakim so the word zalika has been used because as i just mentioned according to the classical arabic dictionaries the word zalika sometimes is used for an object that is either physically far away or of considerable dignity so al quran is the book which is of very high and considerable dignity that message is being conveyed here in this word zalik al kitabu this is no ordinary book this is a perfect book this is the book of great dignity so what a word what a beautiful word picked by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to convey this message of al quran zalik al kitabu la rayba fi this is the perfect book this is the book which is of considerable dignity so we have to keep that in mind <clears throat> now let me give another word the word is tilka tilka now this word tilka is the feminine singular counterpart of zalika so feminine singular but feminine for zalika is tilka the use of this word tilka has the same significance already mentioned for zalika let me give you a verse of al quran this is verse chapter 10 verse 2 chapter 10 verse 2 the verse says bismillahir rahmanir rahim tilka ayatul kitabil hakim tilka ayatul kitabil hakim these are the verses tilka ayatu these are the verses full of dignity tilka these are the verses aya tilka ayatul kitabil hakim these are the verses of the perfect book full of wisdom al kitabil hakim these are the verses of the perfect book al kitab which is a book of wisdom kitabil hakim so both zalika and tilka are demonstrative singular pronouns in both cases there is a subtle indication of a call by the most exalted god allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the reader who is being personally and directly addressed to a particular book or the verses of the book which are high in dignity and distinction so when a book is being addressed as a book of high dignity and distinction or the verses of the book which are of high dignity and distinction then the word zalika is used for the book and tilka is used for the verses of the book i just want you to clarify that aspect because sometimes some orientalists who 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 have been trying to translate the quran who are not of the muslim islamic faith they have been trying to translate the quran and they have raised this question that zalika is not grammatically correct the word should have been haza so here is the explanation why these orientalists are not correct in their understanding of this word zalika or for that matter the word tilka so i just want you to clarify that this word zalika is a beautiful word specially suitable for this particular verse where 
the dignity and the distinction and its perfection is being emphasized by the word Zalika. If you combine this word Zalika with the next word, which is Al, Al Kitab, Zalika Al Kitabo. Zalika is one word, Al is the second word, Kitab is the third word. Zalika Al Kitab. So if you combine this word Zalika with Al, Al Kitab, that will further enhance the meaning of distinction, the meaning of dignity, the meaning of perfection. Al-Kitab, the perfect book. So Al is, 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 is being picked by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to convey the message of perfection. It is not Kitab, it is Al-Kitab. It is a perfect book, comprehensive book, Al-Kitab. So that's another powerful word used here in combination with Zalika. Zalika, Zalika Al-Kitab. Zalika Al-Kitab. So I just wanted to make sure that we understand this word a little better. And once we understand Quranic Arabic a little better, and go a little more detail of this beautiful Quranic Arabic, then we will start enjoying the message with a kind of respect, with a kind of sincerity, which is what is required when we read the meanings of Al Quran. Now, in summary, Zalika is an address to Al-Kitab, the book which is perfect, to the book of loftiness, dignity, and distinction. Zalika is a book of dignity and distinction, and it's a book, Al-Kitab, perfect book. So the book of loftiness, the book of dignity, the book of distinction that is worthy of respect. That's what these two words, if put together, what they mean. This is what the message is. Zalika al kitab la raiba fi hudalil muttaqeen. So, in other words, the Quranic words Zalika al kitab convey the meaning that Allah, who is the all knowing source of knowledge, Allah is the all-knowing source of knowledge. Al-Alim, He is the source of knowledge. He is the all-knowing God, Almighty Allah. So this book is being revealed by the all-knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And He is the source of all knowledge. He is the source of complete guidance and perfect guidance, which has been revealed to us in this perfect book of guidance, Al-Quran. And this perfect book of guidance is exalted in dignity and honor. A book which is far removed from any limited opinion by the reader regarding its purity and prominence. So this is basically Zalika the word Zalika means, especially when you put this word together with the word Al, Al Kitab. So I'm going to close it. And before I close, I want to give you uh, some possible translations based on the discussion we already had. As I said that this word Zalika sometimes is used as that in some cases and sometimes this word Zalika is used to convey a message of dignity which deserves respect. So let me give you a, a conceptual translation. No English translation is perfect because Al-Quran is revealed 
in Quranic Arabic, which is a very beautiful language, very comprehensive language, the most suitable language for the message, the divine revelation, the most suitable message of the divine revelation came in the most suitable language of Quranic Arabic. So it is difficult to translate the Quranic Arabic and in any other language we can try and yes our great scholars have been trying to translate and those are beautiful translations which you can find Alhamdulillah but I'm trying to give you a little deeper understanding of the word so that all of us can understand the concept the conceptual meaning so if I have to go into the concept of, the, of this word, Zalik al-Kitab, I will, I will go like, I will give you, let's say, four different flavors of the conceptual meanings. Let me, let me, let me try to translate like this. Zalik al-Kitab. Zalika al-Kitab. Zalik al-Kitab. I can say, this is that perfect book this is that perfect book which is complete and deserving full dignity and deserving respect. Zalik al-Kitab. This is that perfect book which is complete and deserving full dignity and deserving full respect. Zalika. The second way I can explain the conceptual translation or conceptual meaning is, is I can put like this. This is that book. This is that book which possesses all the excellencies. Which possesses all the excellencies that a complete and perfect book should possess. That's another way to put it the conceptual meaning of Zalik al-Kitab. I can put another meaning, another, another conceptual meaning. I can say, this is that book of guidance. This is that guidance which you prayed, which you prayed for in the sixth verse of Surah Al-Fatiha. We have been praying in Surah Al-Fatiha in our all of all the time in all of our ritual prayers so in our surah al-fatiha which is chapter 1 of al-quran verse 6 which says ihdina sirat al-mustaqim ihdina sirat al-mustaqim ihdina o oh god guide us guide us to the final destination to sirat al-mustaqim so we have been praying. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us immediately after Surah Al-Fatiha in the next, immediately next chapter, verse 2, it says this is that book Zalik Al-Kitab this is that book of guidance which you prayed for in Surah Al-Fatiha. That's how you can understand the conceptual meaning of this word Zalik al-Kitab. I can also translate like this, conceptual translation I'm talking, the concept, the conceptual meaning. I can say, this is that book of honor and dignity. This is that book of honor and dignity which was promised to you in the previous scriptures which was promised to you in the previous divine scriptures of Moses and Jesus alayhi salatu was salam. So all those promises about the coming of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, all those promises or prophecies which were mentioned in the previous scriptures divine scriptures of Musa alayhi salatu wa salam wa Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salatu wa salam those prophet promises have are being fulfilled this is that book 
This is that book of honor and dignity which was promised to you in the previous scriptures of Moses and Jesus alayhi salatu was salam. So look at, look at the conceptual meaning. Powerful, powerful meanings here. Zalik al-Kitab. La, Zalik al-Kitab. So the word Zalika and al-Kitab, al, has a very similar meaning of grandeur and perfection and dignity. Inbuilt, inbuilt in this word of Zalika and al. Zalik al-Kitab. I finish here inshallah, but I will try, uh, I will inshallah pick in my next lesson, in my next, next presentation, the next word, which is basically Al-Kitab. I like to go in a little more details on this word Al-Kitab in my next presentation. And after that, I will pick the next word, La Rabba, the word Rab. Rab is another important word in this verse. Zalikal kitabu la raba fi hudalil muttaqin. So we will pick these words as we proceed in our lessons. Inshallah, I pray to God Almighty Allah to give us knowledge and we pray with the prayer of Al Quran. Kul Rabbi Zidni ilma. Say, O oh my Rabb, increase my knowledge. Amen.